Oh, hi there. It's Dr. Baron Dodger and Crystal the Husky. Um, let's get one thing clear. I'm absolutely insane. And now that we've got that fact out of the way, we can move on to the next thing, which is getting justice for this conspiracy to pervert the course of justice that I'm involved in, and I'm the victim of. And I've already proven on the website below the evidence that's needed to prove this conspiracy. And it's a conspiracy with violence employed. <laughs> I've been beaten up. I've literally died and then been revived from death. And the conspiracy which redacts my prosperity is still going three years later. So, the reason I can't elicit money out of the world is because I have no lawyer. And people look at me like I'm an extortionist or a money chaser. But I've also provided evidence on the website that once I was gifted $100,000 and the guy who gave it to me um, then came back a few weeks later and said, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. So, I gave the $100,000 back to him and I was renting and living on a pension. So, as we can demonstrate with facts, I'm not a money chaser, but I need money to survive. Recently, the NDIS has gifted me money so I could get a SILS application out of the way and I was uh, living as a homeless person in my car in Dandenong police paddocks under the watchful eye of the NDIS. The government were well aware that I was suffering financially and that I'd suffered financial neglect and that my prosperity had all been intentionally, maliciously, systemically and politically redacted from me over very many years. So my question to people is, the one thing that I need to elicit this money out of the world is legal help. Because without legal help, my voice gets delegitimized. People ignore it, or they just, even worse, pointedly neglect it. Um, I don't get responded to. Um, gaslighting is a method of the torture in which I'm just never acknowledged. So, to force acknowledge this um, situation I'm in, I need um, to get a message to lawyers, to politicians, to family members and friends who are just about all gone, um, of um, I need to elicit a response from a lawyer in order to get the money. It's easy to see I'm mean, earned the money because um, my former partner, Steve Isonides, was a multi-millionaire and he worked for ASIO at the Secret Service. And no government agency will admit that the relationship even existed. Now, if you go to the website underneath, I've got our bank statements in each other's name. I've got um, lease agreements. I've got photos from five years. The government's created a false narrative. And that false narrative, which they prefer, is out of step with actual reality. And I might be crazy, but that doesn't exclude that a conspiracy is actually happening. And I tend to believe that I'm not that mad. What's actually crazy is society. So, if anyone out there could just do me a solid, see the website below and get me a lawyer, I'd be very grateful. Thanks for your help. That would really help me a lot. However, because I know that I've been character assassinated and no one will help me do that, I know that I'm going to get justice one day and it's just a, ma a matter of time. So, if you're the person that simply makes a phone call to put me and Crystal in touch with a lawyer that solicits our justice and extracts the money which we are owed 
clearly, then I'll pay you $50,000. Money means nothing to me. I really don't care for it. But when it's systemically and politically redacted from you in every single way, in a political way, then it becomes not only a necessity, but a method to survive. Because the NDIS is just about to force me back into my car as an infamous vagrant to live as a homeless person. And I'll have to give up the lovely Crystal here, um, my dog and my muse, um, to a kennel while I go and live in the park. And that's not okay for a government to do to a chronically disabled person. It's not okay. It's also not okay that um, I'm 50 years old and I've never had access to the law, not once. And every lawyer who comes into my field of vision, or I ask, will reject me, delegitimize me, or find an absurd reason not to help me or to not solicit the aim, which is to get the cash. So um, it's actually the responsibility and the legal liability of the Australian government if there is a disabled person and they're facing profound legal detriments um, in which if nothing's done, it will cause their imminent homelessness. It is the government's obligation in order to provide those human rights um, and those legal rights to that disabled person. And that's me, Dr. Baron Dodger and Crystal the Husky. So if anyone can get a single government agent, public official, anywhere in the entire government to acknowledge the facts that are already on the website below, I'll get half a million dollars. And I won't have to live in my car as an infamous vagrant. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, I think I'm making sense. It's hard to know. Anyway, um, so there you have it. It's Crystal and, and Dr. Baron Dodger. And I'm just in my housemate's, uh, my car with my housemate. And um, just going for a cruise. And that's our public plea. You can do it if you want to, just to help someone. Or you can do it and you can get $50,000. And I'm more than willing to um, sign a legal document from the Law Depot, which states that will be the case. And in case you were thinking I'm just extorting money from the system, um, fear not because I was given a hundred grand before and I was told it was a mistake and I gave it back. And the other reason is that I've created a trust fund, Baron Dodger Trust. And Baron Dodger, me, only wants the bare basics in life. Food, medicine, healthcare, a place for me and my dog, some privacy, and some freedom from violence and death threats as a scapegoat, you get that. So, um, what do I do with the rest of the money? Well, Baron Dodger is a trust fund and I've proven over 30 years that I've helped people from all walks of life, all sexualities, all backgrounds, and I've done it for 30 years as an independent advocate in this country. And I've also spoken in parliament to Dubbo over to Montreal, to Warrnambool and all over the place. And I'm going to use those funds to help people who are marginalised and be a transformational expert to change currency into good feelings and for having people um, absolutely be supported, no matter who they are, especially the marginalised. That's my plea to the world. Okay, cheers.